Hey, Woodcutters, Top Saw here. Got tons of wood scraps in the high school wood shop. Need a project for Mother's Day coming up quick. So this video is gonna be all about how to convert all of these different wood scraps, small, big, wide, thick, into usable wood and make a cool Mother's Day gift for this weekend. <laughs> start with we're going to take all of our different offcuts whether they're knotty and there's barely any wood in there all different types of wood and this project's going to be a mix and match of different types of wood first thing we're going to do is rip everything to one inch width but the height's not going to matter so we'll be able to intermix these one inch trapezoidal blocks with seven eighths three quarters two whatever it is as long as we have six of the same height they're all going to work so first thing i'm going to do is just start ripping Okay, I have all these different strips of one inch by whatever height. These are actually 13 sixteenths. There's a lot of bad wood in here, um, but they're all one inch wide. This is alder. I have cedar we milled, a um, lot of different pieces of redwood, different mixed woods. Um, I'm gonna use my miter sled now to cut these five inch long trapezoids with a 60 degree bevel. So I have my miter sled, or I could use a miter gauge. I have it set at 30 degrees here, and I'm just gonna make one quick cut first. Don't reach in there for scraps, wait till it stops. Five inches on the long side. Now, here's my trapezoid right here. This is a 60 degree. So this internal angle here is 60, so I set my miter gauge at 30 in. This distance from here to here is five inches long. Um, and it doesn't matter how high it is this way, as long as I have six identical pieces like this. So here's my miter sled. I have a block on my fence. A block is set back here. This is my exact five inches, so it's consistent. I am off of that block before I engage the blade. I never want to create a bind between the blade and the fence. So I have that thick block right there to make sure I'm not even close to the fence when I touch the blade. You can also make all your cuts on a sliding miter saw or on any compound miter saw. I have my miter gauge set at 30 degrees. So that's 30 degrees off a of perpendicular to give me my 60 degree angle, interior angle. So five inches and then two 60s. Putting them together here, you can see here I have the short side of the trapezoid on the outside of the hexagon and that way it's gonna give me a pretty big butt joint. That butt joint is not going to be very strong on any given one course or level. Level, However, the next course above these, it will because I'm going to have a lap joint here. So this is going to be a lap joint over the previous joint, and I'm going to glue on the whole top surface to make it strong. So that's really where I'm getting the strength in this project is through those lap joints. And you can see the bottom is one inch wide by 13 16 high but this next course is actually i think like one and a quarter so that height could change as long as the six pieces are all identical and you can see how that's going to lock it all up just like working with legos and then the next course is going to also be lapping back and forth um, and you know a different course of six pieces in a different color would also look really nice so i like the different widths um, whichever ones work. Unfortunately, when I glued them, it was strong enough, but they weren't as symmetrical as I would have liked. So I decided to draw it in a CAD software. This is Mastercam. I started with that circle, which is a standard 
um, potted plant size. With this file, you could either run on a laser, you could print it out and use a jigsaw to cut it out, or cut it on a CNC to make your template or your fixture. Um, so here, this is an animation of it running on the CNC. I think I am gonna run it on the CNC. And then you could either put paper over the top and glue your parts down so that they're all perfectly symmetrical. I'm also gonna run it on the laser cutter as well. But I will put a, a link in the description so you could get the template and you could just take that paper template and tape it to a board and cut it out on that as well. This is it running on a hand milled cedar board uh, with a quarter inch flat end mill on the CNC router. Just to give you an idea of how the CNC could cut out perfectly symmetrical templates. I know not many people have these, but it is kind of interesting to see how these CNCs run in wood. You can see that I dragged the bit a little bit um, in my programming and kind of screwed it up with that one drag mark in the center. All right, here's a laser cut one instead of a CNC cut one. And again, I'll put this template in the description. You could print it out, just tape it onto a board and cut it out with a jigsaw or a scroll saw um, or anything. This is actually 102.5% of the original shape, so it's just a teeny bit bigger, so it'll fit in there nicely. What I did is I laser cut it out. So here's the whole part, right? So here are my boards here. I threw this ring away. This is the inside, this is the outside. This is quarter inch thick, and this is glued onto another quarter inch board. And then now that I have my template or fixture here, I'm gonna glue it there. And then the inside piece drops inside, kind of hold it tight. And then again, the real strength is from the lap joint. So when that gets, the next course gets glued on top like that, that's what's gonna give it its strength. And then just put a board over it to hold it in place with a little bit of weight on there. You can see I do have my bottom layer is actually rough cut. I never planed this board. Uh, this is cedar, this is alder. This is I think probably one, one and a half. That's three quarters three quarters to so different heights of boards on there. The other thing I did too is I have these two rings here that I glued up separately and I think I'm gonna put the top on like that. However, before I glue that top on like that, you know, just to make it a little more irregular, I'm gonna sand the outside first and then I'm gonna glue that on there like that. And then here's my potted plant. It's just gonna drop in there. Um, well, actually, it's not much of a potted plant, but here's a pot. I was building it around right there. So let's go over the sander, and I'll just sand it down a little bit. I mean, it's a planter, planter box, so it's not perfect. Uh, you can make it fine woodworking or you could stay with the rough cut lumber. I'm gonna have a board right here. I'm gonna put this in the bottom. It's about six, three quarters long by three and a half. And I'm gonna put that in the bottom and then I'm gonna glue these on the top. Uh, love to hear your comments below if you ended up using this project or if you didn't use this project, why not? Or if you modify the project, how you modified it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I appreciate your time and thank you for watching.